Hey, how's it going? This is Joe Texera, manager of Web Intelligence here at More Visibility. For today's video, I want to talk about some common e-commerce coding mistakes that happen involving the Google Analytics tracking code and the e-commerce part of it. So these are a lot of mistakes that I personally see all the time that can definitely have a big impact on the data that you collect as far as e-commerce is concerned. And in some cases, it can break the entire uh, string of reports entirely. So I want to cover with you some mistakes that I have here. So right here on the board I have some examples of some things that I've seen that are not very good and if this happens or is happening on your website you should definitely work on getting these resolved as soon as you possibly can. So the very first thing that I've noticed a lot of times in Google Analytics when it comes to e-commerce coding is the usage of the dollar sign symbol in some of these fields. Using the dollar sign symbol is going to break the reporting. You may not get any reporting data. You may get garbled or mixed or junk data as we like to call it. So if you have some of these dollar sign symbols in some of these line items here, you just want to get rid of those altogether. You don't want to use any kind of currency symbols whatsoever in these fields. Another big thing that we see along the same breadth of that is the use of commas and the use of more than two decimal places if your currency does not have more than two decimal places. So these elements are also very bad to do. If you have any of this, you just want to remove that so you can clean the data up. Don't separate places in the thousands with a comma. That will, of course, break the reports. One big thing that I've noticed, too, that a lot of folks do out there is the usage of zero quantities, or zero values, excuse me, in some of the fields here. So in this particular example, this particular transaction does not have any tax, and this particular person here used zero. You don't want to use zero. You want to just leave it blank to, if you do not want to use any kind of tax or shipping, you just want to write it with two colon or you know apostrophe separators right there just like I did here nothing in between any of them no spaces especially no zeros because that's been known to cause some problems from time to time so you want to avoid zero values in these fields at all times moving on to the bottom part of the code I have to move it over here because we only have so much room on this board is the add item part of the Google Analytics transaction the e-commerce transactions one thing that I see right off the bat here, and it happens quite frequently, unfortunately, is the order ID here and here do not match. So the order ID in both your add item call and your add trans call need to be exactly the same. So if you're using a different order ID right there, get rid of that. Make sure it's exactly the same that it appears here in the add trans field. Next thing that I see here, I see some more usage of currency symbols. We, of course, want to remove that. We also see here, just to make sure you may not be doing this, you may be doing this, but this field right here is the unit price, or I'm sorry, the unit quantity. Quantity is the quantity, but this is the unit price right here. Why don't I clarify that before I go any further? This is the quantity right here, and this is the unit price. So unit price is the important part. So if your item does cost 75 Make sure that it's 75 there, not 225, because Google Analytics will do the math for you. So quantity here in this field, whatever that quantity happens to be, and then the unit price here in this field. One more thing to note, if you have different items in this particular purchase, so instead of this person buying blue shoes, they also bought a blue jacket or a set of pens, you want to use a different add item call. You want to just have that separated. You don't want to combine more uh, than one item per add item call. So, and then finally, of course, this is very important, I almost forgot, but this is very important, the track trans call, this is very important, this is what makes it all happen. This call sends all of this data to the Google Analytics servers, and it must be called after the regular Google Analytics tracking code. So if you use, of course, the track page view function, this, all of this stuff here, has to happen before, or after, excuse me, after the track page view function. So these are just some of the big things that I've seen as far as e-commerce coding being broken or not being done correctly. If you've watched this video and you have anything like this on your website, I suggest you go and fix that right away. Thank you.